Microsoft, what are you doing with Windows 11? Holy smokes. So, I use Windows at work, obviously. Most offices do. We have a Windows 11 computer at home uh, that I set up with uh, a local account some time ago. We, it was Windows 10. We upgraded to Windows 11. We use a local account. We don't use OneDrive. Um, we do use Edge as the browser. And that's about it. Windows 11 is okay as an operating system. It's fine. I don't have any particular problem with it as such. What I do have a problem with is the way Microsoft keeps effing around with people who purchase a new PC and just want to set it up and go. I mean, currently, the issues are... There are quite a few. You plug it in. You, f you have to connect to the network. You fire it up. It does a bunch of updates, which can take, you know, 40 minutes, an hour. Then you log in with your Microsoft account because you pretty much have to. And then you get bombarded with ads for, you know, Office 365 and all kinds of stuff. Then you have to go in and uninstall the unwanted programs that Microsoft throws into the start menu. And this is not even talking about the, the bloatware that HP and Dell and all the other manufacturers put in there. This is just Microsoft stuff I'm talking about. I mean, Windows 11 is not a great out-of-the-box experience these days. There are a few things recently that have kind of brought my, this to my attention again. And it's always bubbling under the surface with me, the sort of low-level irritation with the way Microsoft treats Windows users. One is the, the recall thing where they had a, an AI-powered uh, system called Recall, which was supposed to enable you to better interact with your computer, to pull up data that you'd used in the past, to search for things semantically, and to do ostensibly cool stuff like that. Microsoft's in implementation of it was so ham-handed and just ugh, dumb. Uh, people pushed back on it, and their Microsoft ended up pulling it back. They're, you know... I'm sure they'll bring it back at some point, maybe rebranded, but that was a bit of a disaster. Then the newer versions of Windows 11, the current versions, are making it even more difficult, almost impossible, in fact, to set up a Windows 11 computer without using a Microsoft account to log in with. It's very, it makes, they make it very obscure and difficult to use a local account. So... I mean, why would you want to use a local account? Well, just for privacy. If you don't want to use stuff like OneDrive and that kind of thing, you don't want your data spread all over the Microsoft cloud, which isn't the most reliable or secure thing in the world. Let's be honest. I mean, Microsoft encourages you, <laughs> encourages you to use a Microsoft account for you know, several reasons. Enhanced integration with cloud services, Supposedly improve security features and a more seamless ex experience across devices. So if you have a laptop and a desktop, you can sync up stuff using OneDrive. If you don't need that, the option should be available for you not to use a Microsoft account. Just use a local account. You log into the computer and that's it. If you want to go to the Windows Store, you can sign into that using a Microsoft account to get whatever you need and then log back out of it. But they don't do that. And the irritating part about it is that they apparently know that at least some people want to use a local account because they make it so darn hard not to. Microsoft deliberately hides the option to set up your computer with a local account, even though they know that some, if not many people, would prefer to do that. They don't necessarily want it set up with a Microsoft account. If they do want it set up with a Microsoft account, that's fine. But give them the option not to. That irks me no end. It's just one of those things where I think Microsoft just wants to have access to your data for whatever reason, and that's the end of it. The other thing they've been doing, the users have reported that OneDrive backups were initiated without their explicit consent or clear notification. So if you're not familiar with OneDrive, when it does, when you initiate OneDrive and it's syncing things up, it moves files around. It, it can move files from your local system to the cloud and keep them in the cloud. Um, there are various options you can use, but it gets complicated and it's not always obvious. The file system on the computer changes a little bit because it, it doesn't store in the old locations. It stores in a, a OneDrive location. It's a whole thing. 
And the Microsoft backup feature, the OneDrive backup is not really a backup. It's a, a sync. So if you delete a file on your local system, it gets deleted in the cloud version and vice versa. So you still have to be careful. But doing that without giving explicit consent to do it, that's just weird. Why, you know, the other thing is if you, the way it works, usually it'll sync up, you know, my documents, pictures, commonly used folders. But then the free version of OneDrive, the free allowance you have with a Microsoft account for OneDrive is five gigabytes. A lot of people probably have more than five gigs of, of data. So when your stuff starts getting magically and inexplicably synced to OneDrive, and you've got more than five gigs of stuff in your folders, well, it's going to either tell you to delete something or sign up for, you know, additional subscription for OneDrive to get more storage. That just seems crazy. I think what they need to do is step back and look at what they're doing. I mean, you already pay for Windows. When you buy a computer, a Windows computer, you're already paying the quote-unquote Windows tax. You're already paying for the, the luxury, for the, the use of Windows. So they're doing this thing where they're manipulating you into uh, basically forcing you into using a Microsoft account, which I, I understand Apple encourages you to use an Apple account too. You can, however, quite easily set up a Mac without using an Apple ID. You do need to use an Apple ID to, ac to access the App Store and so on, but you can set it up with a local account. Google Chromebook, you can't, but a Chromebook's a different kind of thing. It was set up from the beginning as an adjunct to your Google account. You have a Google account with pictures and all that kind of stuff, documents and things on it. Well, this is a way for you to access that account through a single device. That's what a Chromebook is. So it's a different kind of paradigm out of the, out of the box. Windows was just designed to be an operating system. There was no compunction or you weren't compelled to use it with all those, these cloud services, but that's what Microsoft wants to do because there's apparently money in that. Also, the advertising, they need to strip out a lot of the advertising that they do in the start menu. They've started, they've started to do that now too. They just pop things in there. It's, it's just, it's, it's obnoxious. People, I mean, you, you can see people aren't migrating heavily towards Windows 11. There's, there's a lot of people still using Windows 10. I mean, when Microsoft brought out 11, they raised the hardware requirements and then they started throwing all these sort of odd consumer unfriendly things in there. It just, they need to step back, pull this stuff back and make a, or at least get, at least give you the options, the obvious options when you're setting the computer up to set it up the way you want it. Surely that would make Windows more appealing to more people. If you want to set it up in an automated way where it uses OneDrive and you're using your Microsoft account, that's fine. But at least give us the option not to, instead of, you know, using hacks and tricks and all that kind of stuff to try and bypass these things. It's just, I, I really don't know what Microsoft is doing. There's somebody up there needs to smack somebody around and tell them, look, this is not what people want. And I, I don't think the majority of people, if you explained it to them, would be too happy about what, what Microsoft is doing these days with Windows. So that's my little rant for the day. Uh, you know, you can check out some of the links below for more information. And we'll see you next time.